So, we can do a very interesting exercise now actually, right. So, you know we, we, we spoke about the audacity. So, let me just open up audacity again, mm -hmm. right. So, that we, um, I have audacity here, okay and uh, close. Uh, and I think this is the test audio that we created. Uh, right. Actually, let me just record and see what happens here. Is there anything? Uh, no. So, is it recording now? No, it is recording something, but okay. uh, one second. I am just trying to uh, retrieve that file, or I can just do this actually open recent files. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay, we got. Okay, I will take off all this actually, mm. right. And I am going to now export as wave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it gives us certain interesting options. Signed 16 bit PCM. Yes. Signed 24, uh, unsigned 8 bit PCM. Okay, there are certain you know different la options that we have. So let us understand what this thing actually yeah. means. Yeah. Right. So uh, we said let me choose unsigned 8 bit PCM, right. I am going to save this as a WAV file, uh, yes, okay, yeah, okay. So now what I want to do is come here and uh, this is a WAV file. It says 734KB, okay, the file size mm -hmm. is, okay. So. I have this file which is, ah, somehow that <laughs> thing is sitting okay. here nicely. Okay. So, nice. file size uh, 734, sorry, 34 K capital B which means it is bytes. Bytes. Yeah, kilo, kilo bytes, bytes. Okay. So, this is kilo is just like in kg it is 1000 right but mm -hmm. here because it is all in powers of 2 it happens to be 1024, 1024. which is okay. 2 power 10 okay right. So this is 1024 b again is 8 bytes 8 bits okay. So if you look at the file size it is in kilobytes. So it is 734, 734 times 1024, 1024 oh, I see. into 8 Bits. bits. So, okay. it has so many bits of information. Okay. Okay. Now, we have to also check out one more important uh, this thing which happen. Ah, it says mono 44,100 hertz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mono, mono 44,100 hertz. Okay, so this tells us the time sampling, right? The TS. Yes. Okay. Yes. And how much? What is the duration of this guy? It is something of the order of let's see. Uh, One minute thirty-four seconds, something like that. Yeah. One minute thirty-four seconds. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is so the time. is 1 minute 34 seconds. So, I am going to now see if I can tie these two numbers together. Oh, really? Can I estimate the file size okay. right, based on this? Makes okay. sense because if I record longer, I have more data so the file size should be larger. Exactly, right. So, okay. I saved it as a 16, as a 8 bit number. Okay. In fact, I saved it, you know, when we looked at this file size, yes. right, I looked at uh, this guy here, uh, show, uh, I want to look at properties, right, it is a media player, details, 1 minute 34 seconds, it is a wave file uh, and file size 734 KB, 64 KBPS is what it says, okay. So, we will not worry about that for now, right. So, we saved it as an 8 bit 
number. Okay. okay. So, what this now means is we have an analog value. Yes. And each of these were now sampled mm -hmm. with <coughs> TS. Yes. Okay, which happens to be that 1 by 44,100 hertz. These many seconds. You are having one sample and that analog value is now being stored as an 8 bit number. Mm, okay. Okay, so you get this value, okay, you get this analog value and this could be, you remember it could be between some 1.5 volt and 2.5 volt. That that analog value is now quantized to 2 power 8 levels mm -hmm. and each bin is now represented as a binary number. As a binary number. number. So, okay. this let us say was 3, okay. okay. It would be this 3 number in binary, in binary. is okay. an 8 bit number which is all zeros, okay, because this is 2 power, 2 power 7, 2 power 6, 2 power 5, 4, 3. 2 I need 2 power 2 plus 2 power 1. Yes. Right. Yes. So, this is how the binary number would look 8 bit binary number would look. Okay. Okay. And next value would be some other binary number between 0 and 256, 255 actually. 255. Right. Right. So, now what do I have in 1 minute 34 seconds? How many, how many analog samples do I have mm. first? Okay. So, how, how many seconds is this? First of all, it is 94 seconds. Yes. Right. So, how many samples do I have total? Okay. <coughs> um, if the sampling rate is forty-four thousand one hundred hertz, yes. You multiply that by ninety-four. Exactly. Right. So, therefore, number of samples is forty-four thousand one hundred. Right. Yes. Into. So, essentially, what we are saying is, you take the total duration. Yes. This is. 1 minute 34 seconds, right? Divide that by the sampling time. Sampling time. Or it is effectively Correct. multiplying by the sampling frequency. Correct. Right? So, so the way I think of it, yeah. this 44,100 hertz tells me that per second, exactly. I am getting 44,100 samples. Exactly. For 94 seconds, it is going to it's be 94 going to be times that much. This. Okay. So, therefore, can we just do this? and see what number we get. So, 44,100 yeah. into 94. Okay. So, you get 41,4145,400 samples. Yes. <coughs> okay. These many samples are there. Now, each of these will be represented by an 8-bit number. 8-bit number. Okay. okay? So, number of bits yes. is 4145400 into 8. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, where did I? Oh, I closed the calculator. Sorry. So, 4145400. Sorry. 400 into 8. Yes. So, what do I get? 3316300. Three, three, yes. 3316300. Three, 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 These many bits mm. is what we have. Yes. Right? And what did we get here? 734KB. Yes. Okay. Let us see if that adds up now. Okay. 734 into 8 into 1024. Okay. So, how many do you get? 6012928. 6012928. Yes. Okay. And what do we get here? 331 one, 63200. 200. Right? Yes. So, let us see. If first of all we we export it as a wave file, okay, eight bit PCM value, and we got that to be 
735 KB. Right. With, uh, okay. Yeah. So let's see what what the. So one way to do is three three one. Let's see. So four one forty four thousand one hundred hertz, right? Into ninety four. Is that what we have there? By the way, or did that get saved as a different number? Mm. Uh, export as a wave. Um, Maybe we should just close this and open that guy again. Open with uh, no audacity. Ah, so ah no no no. See this? Sorry. So we got this thing wrong. It was eight thousand hertz. The oh, sampling the period, sampling right? Period. Okay, okay, okay. okay it is eight thousand hertz, so it's not forty-four thousand one hundred hertz. Okay? okay, okay. So that's why that number Understood. was off. Understood. Okay. So okay. if we recalculate this, so you get eight thousand, right? It will be uh, for this thing by five approximately, yes. but we'll see anyway. Let's just do the calculation and check. Eight thousand times ninety-four to ninety-four is Seven five two zero zero. Okay, so I'll write that here. Seven five two zero 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 zero. Okay, and that has to be plugged in here. Okay. Yes. Into eight. Oh, by the way, there is there are three zeros. It's seven five two zero zero zero. Oh. So you got six zero one six one six zero 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 zero. Okay. What did we get here? Six zero one two nine two eight. Oh, this is something like very close. Very close. Right? right. So essentially, we have been able to estimate the file size based on the sampling rate. Yes. And the number of bits. Number of bits needed to store each. Amplitude value. Oh, this is amazing, right? Okay. And there will be a slight mismatch because there is a header information that tells you how many, you know, how many bits this is, how, how many channels, exactly. All that. There are a lot of other. So some, I, I don't remember the exact number. Some forty-four bits or something like that will go. I see. Okay. So you, but the key point is order of magnitude. We are very close. Very close. Right, based on the file size. So this many bits. Okay, and File size is how much? Six zero one two nine two eight. Yeah. Six zero one two nine two eight. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So, so ultimately, you know, you change the sampling rate, or you know, if you that's why if you see right, the CD quality forty four thousand one hundred hertz. Would result in a much bigger this thing. So mind you, this cannot be done for MP3 format, mm. okay? Because okay. the wave format, which is the raw PCM format, actually encodes it in exactly the way that we discussed. In bits. MP3 mm. does a lot of encoding, and this file size will be brought down to, you know, literally I think one MB per minute or something like that. Some, I see, I see. Okay. Something like that. So you cannot do this calculation for MP3 bits. files. So you must be very careful, but. We have been able to go a good distance now, right? Yes. Starting yes. from the discrete amplitude binary representation, and then tie it up with the file size yes. that we are seeing on a computer, right? So effectively, if you look at what happens, right? That that test dot wave when you open it in Audacity, right? In your DRAM, right? And mm -hmm. actually, there's a hard disk. Mm -hmm. Outside all yes. this, there is a hard disk. Yes, where it is right. right. That's right. Where that seven thirty four KB, yes, of information is stored as so you'll have some sequence of one zero one zero zero like this, some big sequence of zeros and ones. Yes, right. Then we decide to open Audacity here, okay. Right. And we are telling the operating system, the Windows operating system in this case, that you need to fetch that file from the hard disk. So that file will now be fetched into this DRAM memory. Yeah. You will have a big sequence of, right? Sometimes yes. the entire file cannot be fetched. It may yes. be in parts. 
right? Then you have a cache sitting here, yes, right? Part of this file will be loaded here, right? And then we see it on Audacity, okay? So it's ultimately just these ones and zeros that are moving from the hard disk to the DRAM to the cache and we can see it as a thing, right? So, so when we open it, really not in, no computation is happening. But if I choose to, for example, select this file, right? If I select part of this, mm -hmm. right? And apply certain effects, right? For example, I could do volume and compression. I could just amplify this, mm -hmm. okay? I'll just amplify by 3 dB, not much more than that. You see that it went ah, up okay. slightly. Now there is yes. a computation happening on that bit sequence. On that bit sequence. On that bit sequence and then you can save this file back as a WAV file to a different location. It will become another sequence of ones and zeros. Okay. So this is just a preliminary you know peek into the digital system but we will look at this in greater detail in a future course. Thank you. Thank you.